been a while, isn't it? Hi, I am Nurse Giselle and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new here in my channel, hi, welcome to my channel. This video is solely for demonstration purposes as interpreted by the actor based on her understanding of the specific skill with reference to the Royal Marston Manual of Clinical Nursing Procedure, 10th edition. All information presented are public domain materials accessible through the relevant governing organization's websites. Several similitude may be noticeable, however, this is not intended to be definitive guide to the NMC Part 2 Test of Competence or the OSCE examination. This can be a helpful material for overseas or internationally trained nurses to learn and adapt to the UK clinical settings and transition effectively into practice. Oh yeah, you're back. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do or how to complete a fluid balance chart in order for you to pass the fluid balance station. So nurses, fluid balance is one of the most easiest station in the OSCE exam. This is a writing station, so all you got to do is to right to complete this station you have got 12 minutes in completing this station you're gonna need a calculator if you have not been provided with one on your exam then ask the examiner before your time starts this is an example of a fluid balance chart you have to complete this one okay i will put it in the screen right over there yeah this one you have to complete this okay so as you can see in the chart right here, there's a lot of columns and rows. As you can see, it has multiple columns which includes the input and the output. So in the exam, you will be asked to complete the oral intake, parenteral input, urine output, drain output, and the bowels. As you can see as well in the chart, you also need to complete the hour total and the total input and output. At the top boxes, as you can see, is where the patient details should be. Now, at the bottom, these are for your details. And the opposite side here at the bottom is where you're going to put the total balance. And if the total balance is positive or negative. Okay, another chart will be given to you, which is the summary of the fluid balance. I'll put it here in the screen. That's just an example. I just made that one up. So again, as you can see from the screen, this chart breaks down the oral intake, parenteral input, the urine output, the bowels, and if the patient got drained as well, okay? So drain output at the same time. Oh yeah, just a tip, okay? Nurses, listen and take note. It is important to take note that if there is any documentation of fluid in here, such as water or coffee, anything any fluid but there is no volume you cannot transcribe this onto your fluid chart okay remember that if there's no volume do not transcribe or write it on your fluid chart understood uh, this would be the same case with your output okay same as with your bowels if there is no volume or a specific amount so if the chart stated that the bowels of the patient opened but no units of measurements given Please do not put this into your fluid chart, okay? Or do not invent, okay? Do not um, do not assume any amount, okay? All right? Do not assume any amounts. Even if the patient opened their bowels, there is nothing to add in there, okay? There is no specific measurement. Then do not chart it, okay? Okay? So, shall we do it? Okay, but before we head into it, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so I'd be more inspired to make more OSCE videos like this. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post more OSCE videos, then hit the notification bell. Oh yeah, before I forget, please comment down below what other OSCE videos you want me to do. Okay? Alright? Thank you! Thank you so much and let's go! Oh, so nurses, look at the screen. Look at the example on your screen, the summary of the fluid balance. There are clear times for both 
input and output. We can also see that there is an IV fluid administered to the patient, yes? Alright guys, in this example, we first need to work out the hourly rate. We have a start time of 20 hundred or 8 p.m. And we have a finish time of 400 hours or 4 a.m. This means that our patient received 1,000 mils of 0.9 NaCl over the course of 8 hours. Therefore, the calculation should be like this. 1,000 mils uh, divided by the hours uh, that it has been given, which is 8 hours, is equal to 125 mils. So, the patient received 125 mils uh, of uh, 0.9 normal saline for 8 hours. Here's the tip. I would recommend you guys to please complete first the parenteral fluid input. You can then add in any of the fluids that the patient has. Okay? Again, IV or parenteral fluid uh, input first before any other oral fluids. Are we good? All right, let's continue. This is what your fluid balance would look like after completing your parenteral intake. And please do take note that the documentation for the IV fluid starts one hour after the IV fluid has commenced. This is due to the IV fluids taking an hour infusing into the body. The next step into completion of the fluid balance is to work out your hour total. This is completed by adding together all your totals for each hour. And once you have your hour total, you can now complete the total input. This is done by adding together your hour total to your previous hour input. Okay, let's let's work it out as an example, okay? So as you can see from the screen, our hour total at 8 a.m. or 800 hours is 200 mils to get our total input for the next one which is as you can see from the screen it's 10 a.m so we will add 200 mils this is from the 8 a.m with 50 which is our 10 a.m our total this would bring us to our new total of 250 mils for 10 a.m this time is it clear? Everybody get that? Alright, you will then carry on using the same method to work out the rest of the total input. So here it is. There you go. We now see that our overall total input is 2,300 mils. Very easy, isn't it? Alright, now that we have completed our total input, we now have to move on to our total output right there now guys we just need to use the same method that we have used when computing the total input it's the same process here's the thing i want you guys to please pause the video and work this thing out okay the 9 a.m up to 12 noon has already been done for you just follow the same method Again, let me just remind you that practice is the key to passing your OSCE exam. So yeah, again, pause the video right over here and then get back to me when you have completed the total output. Alright, pause the video right over there. Oh, you are back. Okay, shall we continue? Okay, as you can see from the fluid balance summary, there's urine and drain. So, both of them we have to document. Again, as a tip, I would recommend for you to note the bowels first, okay? All you have to do is to write the word open from the specific time that the bowels of the patient opened, okay? Like this. After that, work out the urine and then the drain output. Just use the same method that we've used when completing the total intake, okay? So, how do we do this one? Okay, again, the hour total for, as you can see in the screen right here, 9 in the morning, 9 a.m. is 400 mils. That's the hourly total, yeah? To get a total output for the next one, which is at 12 noon, we will add up the 4, which is the 9 a.m. Um, total output with the 200 from the 12 noon hourly output, okay, right, right here. This would bring us to our new total output of 600 mils. 
Well done! Once we have completed the output of each hours, then we can work out the rest of the total output. We now see that the total output is 1,900 mils. Yay! So once the total input and output is accurately completed, you are now required to complete the total balance. This is now done by subtracting the total input from the total output. So in this example right here, it would be 2,300 mils, again that's from the input, minus the output which is 1,900 mils. We have the total balance of, yes, 400 mils. So as you can see, our total balance is positive because we have more fluids going in than going out. You have to write it like this and then you have to put if it is positive or negative. So at the moment, in this example, we have a positive balance. So by the way, if it's a negative balance, uh, it should be like this, okay? All right, understood? Guys, uh, every time I check a fluid balance chart, this is the most crucial part, okay? It is important to complete the chart, okay? This is by completing the, the bottom box at the same time, which is your name and then your signature, okay? Don't forget that. If you fail to complete this part, this part right here, then that's gonna be a fail. Okay, so now once you have finished uh, completing the input and output plus a total balance and everything else, completing all the chart, I need you, if you have enough time, then please do review your computed answers, okay? Um, just in case, just in case, do not just let the time pass by until it's over, okay? Before submitting your paper or before the time runs out, please try to review your answers, okay? Alright, and that's it for today. We are now done with our fluid balance station. Okay, I hope you learned something for today. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post more videos, then hit the notification bell. Oh yeah, please do comment down below what you like about this video and what you don't like about this video and what other videos you want me to do next. Alright, don't forget that. This, this has been Nurse Cell. See you on the next one. Bye!